Canada, the Great White North, neighboring country to the United States of America, home of many great Canadians. We got actors and comedians: Matthew Perry, Mike Myers, Howie Mandel, Russell Peters, Jim Carrey. Home to many great singers, songwriters, and rappers. We got Kanan, Cardinal Official, Avril Lavigne, Melanie Fiona, Drake. And Justin Bieber. I'm just saying, Justin Bieber ain't shit. Then we got many great sports superstars George St. Pierre, Don Cherry, Mario Lemieux, Rhett Hall, Bobby Hall, Sidney Crosby, and the greatest hockey player of all time, Wayne Gretzky. Also, home to many great inventions the poutine, which is fried with gravy and cheese on top, the telephone. The walkie talkie, instant replay, hockey, and the great game of basketball was invented by James Naismith. We also have many great basketball superstars. We have Jamal McGlure, one time NBA All Star, Steve Nash, two time NBA MVP, and Rick Fox, three time NBA champion for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, let me tell you the unheard story of Denim Brown. He became one of the top recruits after he scored 111 points in a high school game. He went to the University of Connecticut and he played alongside great players such as Ben Gordon, Charlie Villanueva, Mecca Okafor, and Rudy Gay. Long before Cardiac Kemba Walker was playing at the University of Connecticut, Denham Brown was known for his clutch play on the offensive end. In the 2006 NBA Draft, he was drafted by the Seattle Sonics with the 40th overall pick. After only two preseason games, he was then waived by the team and went to the NBA D League. Then after that, he pretty much fell off the face of the earth, as no one really heard of him. But this will be his rise to redemption.